I knew nothing about starting my own business. I, I would have told you five years ago that that was a, a pipe dream. I never even thought about it. The real goal was to retire and then tinker. Well, I don't have time for that now. <laughs> I just don't have time for, for retirement. As a small business startup, I find that the most significant part of that startup is the relationships that I had already established before I ever decided to become a startup. I didn't become a startup and then go out and look for relationships. Those relationships were there, especially with Re3D, with the companies I've worked for in the past. Those relationships built the foundation that I'm able now to do what I want to do. For instance, when people contacted Re3D to be able to make parts, Re3D is selling printers, right? And you guys make parts too, but you can't make all the parts in the world that everyone wants. And so I got a call one day and they said, hey, these guys at Re3D have recommended you to build parts for me. Can you do it? And so I think the major thing that I've learned on starting this business is that you're not always going to be perfect. The printers aren't always perfect. The client has to be trained to understand what to expect. But then all of that is about building the relationship. No man is an island. It's absolutely true that you don't start a business in a vacuum. Relationships, relationships, relationships are the key. To me, that seems like a very rewarding goal to be able to do something that started basically on a whim. That just sounds great to me. It sounds exciting. It sounds infinitely doable. This whole road is not something I really expected. It's been a huge process, fun, exciting, long hours, late nights, but I'm working for me. I love it and I feel like when I deliver a product, it's got a little bit of my sweat and inspiration built into that product. I'm excited about that and Gigapot is really what, uh, what kicked it all off.